All right, here we are in front of the pond again. Um, early March 2021. My toddler daughter is running around on the deck watching the uh, watching my little test pump. Um, over the winter, the pond is completely. Let's see if I can. The pond has completely filled with water. She's blowing bubbles. <laughs> Uh, there's, there's probably about 10,000 gallons in here right now. That's what I estimate without any rock in the pond. There's probably about 10,000 gallons. Uh, and I bought a, uh, you can see the, uh, you can see the hose coming out at the end over there by those aqua blocks. Uh, currently pumping, I don't know what it's getting, but I bought a 4,000 gallon an hour utility pump uh, so that I can pump this out. I'm gonna have to dump all of this wonderful rainwater that's accumulated over the, uh, over the winter. I'm gonna have to dump it all out so I can rock the pond which if I turn this way, you'll see, boom, 10 tons of rock right there. That'll be like the first of probably three, maybe even four loads I'll need to uh, do this thing uh, entirely. But I bought a 4,000 gallon utility pump, just a cheap superior pump, 4,000 gallon pump, um, and a 100 foot long uh, two inch, you know, a pool discharge hose. Attached it with a uh, hose clamp and kind of strung it out. I can't really show you the whole thing here because the way that I'm holding the camera, but snakes around the pond comes out over there. Uh, originally, like I, I don't know if you can, probably you don't even remember, can even uh, uh, recognize from the last time I posted about this, but originally the uh, intake bay was gonna be over here in this giant, giant intake bay. And then I was gonna put the, I was going to put the, uh, bog filter, the wetland filtration, back by where those aqua blocks are. After looking at it for through the winter, I think I'm actually going to do the opposite. Uh, I think I'm going to turn this into the wetland filter because it's plenty big enough. And I'm just going to dig a small intake bay over where those aqua blocks are right now uh, for the intake. And what that will mean is, uh, number one, I won't have to, uh, I won't have to steal any more yard for my daughter to do this. I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning of this. I was, what I was thinking was every expert you ever talk to says, don't make your pond too small. No, I've never met a client. I've never met a customer that wanted a smaller pond. So I thought, okay, let's go big and we'll have no regrets. Well, we dug it all, we dug it all out except for the bog filter, except for the wetland filter. And I've had the winter to look at it, you know, in, um, in comparison to the rest of our property, I'm like, this thing is so big. This thing is so big. It takes up like half, at this point, it takes up about a third of the yard. Um, you know, there's more yard beyond the deck over there, but not a ton. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, instead of digging up, digging out an even larger portion of the yard to put in a wetland filter, this area over here is plenty big enough. I can just dig a small intake bay over there, reverse it. But what that means is I won't get a waterfall. Um, and I'm, I'm mostly okay with that, honestly. I, you know, I, I've been thinking about this for a long time. At the, when I first started designing this project, I designed it without a waterfall, and then watched all, you know, the professional videos of like, you know, how these amazing waterfalls come together and thought, oh, I should try. Well, now I'm back to not having a waterfall because as you can see, this is basically the finished water level, like when the final water level, there's no, uh, there will be basically no drop off between the uh, wetland filter over here and the rest of the pond over here. So, you know, water will spring up, you know, through the, uh, through the wetland filter back there and it will just flow and be level with the pond. And I'll have to do some, I'll have to do something for aeration. I'm thinking maybe I'll put in some, a decorative fountain or something. Uh, you know, I've seen those, uh, you know, stacked slate urns and spheres and stuff or something like that that you could use. And I could put it in the wetland area to give it some elevation and get some aeration in the water. And then I'll probably have to put like a, uh, an aerator uh, on the pond somewhere just to make sure that the, the, the pond's getting enough oxygen to support, you know, fish and plants and, and whatnot. Um, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. I've had the, uh, I've had the winter to kind of think it over made some changes of plan, taking the next step. We got a bunch of rocks. So the next step is to drain this whole thing, which makes me sad, but that's okay. It'll all be back uh, and start rocking. So I'll see you when I start that project.